Welcome to Garden Sanity. I'm Laura, and today I'm sharing my little pink bench garden with you. No, the bench isn't pink, but the flowers are. It's really cute. First up is Truffula Pink Gumfrina. So this is my first year planting Truffula Pink Gumfrina, and I'm super excited to find out what all the fuss is about. I first saw this adorable little annual at the 2019 Philadelphia Flower Show. And I was captivated by how cute the flowers were. They've got little bits of yellow in them. They look like pink from a distance, right? But really, really unique coloring. So I happened to see some of these Gumfrina at a local nursery and I just had to try them out this year. But because I have a problem with rabbits, which as you know from other videos, I call the pandemic rabbits, I had to plant these in containers, as you can see, containers up kind of high so that rabbits won't get them, let alone devour them. So since these flowers are new for me, let's learn about them together. So on the Proven Winners website, it says that Truffula Pink Gumfrina are great for hot and humid weather. And this morning, it's only seven o'clock and I am out here because it's already in the 90s. The heat indices are gonna go up to about 105 today. And it's humid, it's soupy. So that's good, check. It says they're long blooming all season, another good quality. And the deadheading is unnecessary. Gumfrina is also called Globe Amaranth, and it's grown as a flowering annual everywhere except for zones nine through 11. So those of you in zones nine through 11 are very lucky that you can keep this plant as a year round plant, very jealous. These plants are drought tolerant, which makes them great for container plantings and they attract bees and butterflies. But let's show you, they're not totally drought tolerant. So we have had a horrible heat wave this week with, as I mentioned, the heat indices. They've been in the hundreds all week. And look at this middle planter. So two days ago it looked great and then I didn't come out yesterday and water it and look what happened. From the house, it looked like it was okay because when the gumfrina dry, they keep their pink color. But look how dry this middle planter got. And I'm keeping it real. So I show you everything. I'm not just trying to, you know, I did come out and water it. You can see the water ran through, <laughs> but I wasn't gonna wait till it perked up. I'm like, nope, this is, this is garden sanity. We keep things real. This tall plant that's flopped over is a verbena, which also goes to show you it's not completely, it does need some water. It's not completely drought tolerant. So I planted this verbena bonariensis to give it some height and look really pretty and it did look pretty until it all started <laughs> wilting so this is what you get this morning is in the middle of this but it's you know we all go through it so there it is so as i mentioned they do keep their color when they dry and you can see some of these that started to dry out right here in the front so truffle pink gumfrina will keep its color when dried like i mentioned it also has a very long vase life this bud vase is perfect size for these because they're very small. And they say that what you can do is cut them off, hang them upside down and dry them in a dark place. I let these dry right in the vase. I tried this a few times already this summer and they look great, they're beautiful. So what you can do is you can cut just this ball part off once they completely dry. And those look very pretty in a bowl. You can use them for crafts. You can keep them tied in a bundle. I plan on definitely having fun with these this year. They're just adorable, aren't they? Oh my goodness. And the flowers are papery. I, I wish you could feel them right now, but they're very, very papery. If you can find these at a nursery, go feel them. <laughs> I tend to touch everything. Apparently there's a German word for it called Spielkind, which my German husband told me that's what I am. So I like to touch everything. But I digress again. These uh, feel papery, almost like straw flowers feel. Really neat. So the next part of this little arrangement is an annual verbena. 
and this is also proven winners, and it's called Superbina Sparkling Rosé. And when my husband heard the title, he said it sounded like a fancy hard seltzer, which I thought was pretty good. The color seems a little bit more pink back here, a little bit whiter up here. Don't know why. Maybe it's the newer blooms versus the older blooms. Not sure, because here's some newer blooms that look like they're more of that pinkish color, almost a pinkish fuchsia. So I purchased a ton of these because I thought they were beautiful and not only do they cascade nicely out of baskets as you can see this one starting to do, but they make a great spreading ground cover. So I thought, hey, let's put this all over the front yard beds. Boy, was that naive. The rabbits let me know what a dumb idea that was. They immediately chomped it all down. And in a previous video, I did show you a picture of how bad it looked. My solution was to plant some perennial ageratum around them, sort of be like little guards around them. And that seems to have helped. They do, they are blooming again, but they don't look that great because they had to start from scratch. So I took the rest of these and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna plant them in some large, these are faux wood barrels, little planters. So I thought I'd put them up here again, out of reach of the rabbits. So let's learn a little bit about the Superbina Sparkling Rosé. This is an annual, except in zones eight to 11. So again, those of you in eight to 11, I'm jealous. It's a short plant, as I mentioned, spreading ground cover or perfect for hanging baskets or planters. I'm sure a lot of you grow it that way. So according to the Proven Winners website, this annual verbena is long blooming and drought tolerant, which I can vouch for, a vigorous grower and mildew tolerant. So if it does get hit with a lot of water, like we've been having a ton of thunderstorms and rain during all this heat and humidity, it seems to be happy as anything. I mean, the leaves are nice and green. It's got some upright growth right here. So if you don't have rabbits, these would be a stunning, stunning ground cover. Just a beautiful spreading annual. And if you already use it this way in your garden beds, let me know. I would love to hear in the comments if for no reason other than I can be jealous, <laughs> but also very happy for you. Garden Sanity is all about finding plants that work for you and then taking advantage of them, planting them everywhere. They're happy and you're happy. So I don't plant a lot of planters, but when I do, I like to keep just one plant variety per container. So for example, in this faux barrel container, I just have the Superbina. You know, in this planter, I just have the Truffula Pink Gumfrina. And the reason I do that is because what often happens, and again, those of you that plant more containers than I do are probably used to this and better able to handle it. But one plant will usually crowd out the other plants and it gets all kind of crazy and you have to cut one back. This way they can just enjoy themselves, grow freely, get really big. So we've had this bench forever. You can see all the lichen on it, which is just awesome. It's just sat outside. You've probably noticed it in previous videos. And I just absolutely love how it developed. I mean, we didn't, we had it forever and we never knew what to do with it. So it just kind of sat and eventually it wasn't even that stable to sit on, but there it stayed until we could find something we wanted to, to use it for. And then we said, hey, won't this make a cute little garden area? So we're planning on turning this into more of a complete garden and it'll probably happen next year with all the projects going on this year. I doubt we'll do it this season, but I think we're going to, you know, move out the gravel stones and put a garden underneath and around it, have something perhaps climbing through the bench. And it really, you know, it, it really dresses up the shed. The shed is your basic shed, <laughs> it's nothing fancy but it really makes it pretty. So leave me a comment below if you grow the Superbina, whether it's a sparkling rosé or any of the varieties. Really curious how you like them, if you have any rabbit problems with them. And also let me know if you grow the Truffula Pink Gumfrina or any Gumfrina also called Globe Amaranth. 
just let me know if you grow those. I'm very curious and would like to grow more next year, so any feedback you have would be greatly appreciated. In the meantime, I'll be back soon with another video, and I hope you have a great day. Stay cool, and happy gardening.